Here's a really quick video tutorial just to show you how to upload to your Google Drive as well as uh, take care of getting rid of the videos and photos after you have uploaded them. So the first and foremost thing we need to do is we need to go to your Google Drive and I have mine stored here in this particular folder on my iPad and when I click on Drive in this iPad, this is where I go ahead and I upload. But before I do, I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to tap on those three lines in the upper left-hand corner, and I'm just going to make sure I'm logged into the correct account. So I have my AE account logged into. This is the one that I want to save the videos to. I'm good to go there, so I'm going to tap back over here to get rid of that. Now, I can add a video and photo directly to my folder or my drive, which you see up there in the upper left-hand corner. Or if I want to store inside a folder, let's say, for example... Um, this is a video that I am going to store in my West Delaware folder and if I wanted to I can actually add a folder so if I click on the red plus button in the lower right hand corner this is where I can actually add photo or folders um, directly in there so I might just tap on that and I'm going to relabel it videos let's say these are videos that I took at West Delaware that I need to store I'm going to hit create and now it's created a videos folder. If I tap on that I, that little information circle button next to the videos folder, this is where it pulls up all the information regarding that folder and I can see exactly, um, you know, I can add people to share it with, I can get the link to the folder, I can move the folder, rename it, or I can get rid of it completely. I can see who created it. I can also see who it's being shared with as well as the activity. For example, if other people, if I'm sharing this with other people, and they're adding to the folder, I can see that activity there. But I'm just going to upload my photos and my video, so I'm going to click on that red plus button once again in the lower right-hand corner, and you see my options of what I could upload to this folder. Well, first of all, I'm not uploading to the videos folder. Right now, if you notice in the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to be uploading to the West Delaware folder, and I don't want that. So I'm going to tap on the videos folder. Now, I'm going to tap on the red plus button. I am going to upload which is that middle uh, option there in the top row. When I tap on that, I get a few choices. The first and uh, one that I get is photos and videos. The second one is iCloud Drive, and I wouldn't even mess with that. I do have some more options. For example, if I wanted to bring in files from my Dropbox, I could certainly do that, or other files from my Google Drive. So I'm going to add those options as well, because I might use those in the long run. But right now, I'm going to select on photos and videos, my top option. And from here, I get the different albums or folders or uh, photos and video folders that are stored on my iPad right now. So I'm just going to do the top one, the camera roll, the recent photos and videos that I took. So when I tap on that, there are only three quick photos that I took. And what I need to do is I need to select each one because I want to upload all three of them. And then I tap on that plus, or that, sorry, that check mark in the upper right hand corner next to camera roll. And if I tap on that check mark, it'll now begin to upload those three videos. And for some reason, it's importing them upside down. Oh, there it goes. It's going to change them the right way. And there they are. They're completely uploaded. Now, if I'm uploading videos, that upload time is going to depend on the length of the video. And it's also going to depend on what kind of Wi-Fi connection I have. Stronger Wi-Fi connection equals faster upload times. So uh, being in the office or maybe you have a strong Wi-Fi connection at home, that's your call. But if you have anything over 10, 15, 20-minute videos, that's going to take a while to upload. So just be prepared for that. Now, these photos are uploaded to my Google Drive, which is stored on the cloud, which means they are backed up, and now I can get them off of my iPad since they've been stored to the cloud. They're still on my iPad and they're still taking up space. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out my Google Drive and I'm going to go to the Photos app, if you notice in the upper right-hand corner here. Sorry, left-hand corner. And you will see that I currently have... Oh, I need to go over to the Photos tab. Down below you see I had Albums selected. And it's not showing any photos or videos underneath Albums. But if I go over to Photos, you'll see the three photos that I have uploaded to Google Drive. Since they're uploaded to the cloud, I can now get rid of them. So I'm going to tap Select in the upper right-hand corner. And now I can individually tap them, or I'm going to uncheck them. Because if you notice, underneath the Cancel in the upper right-hand corner is the word Select. 
And what I can do is I can select whole groupings of photos and videos. So if I tap on that, it selects everything within that group. And so now I can select all three of them more quickly. And in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see the trash can. So I'm going to hit that. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and delete three photos. And now it looks like they're off my iPad. But they're not. They are still on my iPad. So down below at the very bottom, we see photos, shared, and albums. And we were in albums previously. I'm going to go back to albums. And when I tap on albums, in the upper left-hand corner, you see albums up there. If I go back, you'll see the different albums that I have available on my iPad. But the one that you notice with the big trash can on it is the recently deleted. And when I tap on that, you're going to see the three photos that I just took today that I want to get rid of. So in the upper right-hand corner where it says select, I tap on that, and now I get two options over in the upper left-hand corner. One is delete all, and the other, the other is recover all. Well, I don't want to put these back into my photo albums. I want to get rid of them completely. So I'm going to hit delete all, and it's going to give you the final warning. Are you sure? This cannot be undone. It's going to delete them permanently. I know that these are uploaded to Google Drive. I know they're safe, so therefore I'm going to delete three photos and now they are officially off of my iPad for good. And that is how you upload videos and photos to Google Drive and delete them permanently off your iPad in order to gain that precious storage that we all need when adding more apps and videos. Hopefully this helped. If not, shoot me an email and I will be able to maybe walk you through it and do a Zoom with you.